First question is, will I be able to secure a job in Sri Lanka as a chemical and process engineer? My answer is yes. Uh, chemical engineering is a very uh, broad discipline. You will definitely find uh, 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 an area where you can work happily. So chemical engineers work as process engineers, uh, process design engineers, operation engineers, uh, environmental engineers, even economists. Uh, software developing engineers so definitely in this wide spectrum you will find a suitable place for you uh, if you move into a foreign country so there are plenty of jobs available for chemical engineers that's right the second question um, as a chemical and process engineer will i be able will, 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 will i be at a risk health risk such as exposure to hazardous chemicals well, uh, these chemicals or materials have different characteristics. Not all materials are hazardous. Uh, things like uh, food materials, uh, pharmaceuticals, milk powder, etc. They are harmless materials. So chemical engineers work in those industries. They have actually a zero risk. On the other hand, uh, some chemical engineers may need to work with pressurized systems, high pressure gases, explosive gases, uh, toxic chemicals, etc. But the good thing is that in our undergraduate curriculum, our program, we teach and train our students how to tackle uh, in this hazardous environment. Right? We teach them how to identify the characteristics of materials, the hazards, uh, risk analysis, and to uh, develop control measures to prevent accidents being happening. So uh, being a chemical engineer, I am proud to say that we may be the only uh, engineering discipline in this country who teaches uh, safety and health uh, and the procedures to prevent uh, uh, accidents from industrial setups. So my answer to your second question is that yes, there can be uh, risky events, but chemical engineers know how to prevent uh, people being exposed to these uh, hazardous environments. Right. The third question is studying chemical and process engineering difficult that involves a lot of field work, design work, etc. Engineering is always a difficult discipline irrespective of what specialization you are in. Uh, the society is expecting a lot from an engineer. So engineers need to work hard. In our chemical engineering curriculum, we gradually increase the workload of our undergraduate students from second year to third year, third year to final year. When you enter into final year, you'll be work mostly on your own. You are doing designs, research, uh, re writing reports, presentations, etc. This is what you have to do in the industry. If you talk to those graduates who have passed out uh, with a chemical engineering degree and work in industry for about four or five years, always they come back to us and tell that thank you very much for offering us such a uh, interesting program because their life has now become very comfortable since uh, they have been exposed to similar uh, environments within the uh, degree program therefore uh, my answer to this question is no uh, you will not be heavily overloaded but we will expose you the real and industrial uh, uh, environment. Then my last question to the last question to me is about uh, salaries. Of course, chemical engineers are the highest paid uh, engineers in developed countries. Just go to Google and search comparison of salaries among engineers. You will find that all in all developed countries, chemical engineers are the highly uh, salary paid uh, engineering profession or the engineers the reason is that they add value to uh, the raw materials raw materials are cheap but chemical engineers add value and pr produce very expensive products so companies earn money because of chemical engineers therefore they pay chemical engineers with the highest salary even in sri lanka uh, uh, the situation is not much different if i speak myself 
before I joined this university system, I worked at two places, one private sector, the other government. Uh, I was recruited to a nominal salary any other engineer would be getting. But in six months time, my salary was doubled. The only reason is that I have met the expectation of the uh, company. So if you can deliver, they will pay you high salaries. But in the, in the government sector, my sec- at second job, I was paid the same salary as any other engineer. There will be a lot of chemical industries coming up and setting up in our country. So for you, I'm sure that you'll be able to find a very good job with very high salaries and job satisfaction.